You know how some people will claim they're broke, but really they have a little bit of savings, they have money in their account and they just don't want to spend it. No, no, no. I'm talking about broke, broke, like zero. Okay, like my bank balance is zero or like a couple of cents. I have no money, nothing. I've been there where I had no income whatsoever for a while. So really this video is more like a love letter to my previous self where I was a flat broke and I didn't know what to do because I was job hunting and I was waiting and like nothing was happening and I had no money. I really wish I knew then what I know now about making money. So if you have no money, this is going to be the video for you. So like I said, right, I was job hunting at the time and so I needed some extra money while I was waiting to get a job. So I turned to see if I could make money online. What I really wanted, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I wanted to just press a button somewhere and money would come out. Like I thought there's somewhere on the internet where I can just do some random task, maybe data entry, I don't know, something, something easy, right? That's really what I wanted at the time. I just wanted something where I could just punch a few things in and then money comes out to me. Usually I wanted it to come the next day. So that's what I wanted at the time. And so if you want some of those apps and things that you can make money, then you can definitely check out my videos on making money. But let me be perfectly honest with you, right? I didn't make a whole lot of money that time with those methods. I didn't, it certainly wasn't enough to solve my problems of rent, my car, like it just did not solve my problems. So like I really was looking for a shortcut because I, I, I didn't, I, I don't know, I didn't know what else to do. But what I've learned now is that nobody is just going to give you money for doing nothing. And the less effort that something takes, like usually the less you get paid. So for instance, I wanted to do, let's say, a survey where I just click a few buttons and they pay me. But that's not a lot of effort. Anybody can do that. That's not very valuable. And so the money that you get paid reflects that. It reflects that uh, this didn't take a lot of effort, so you're not going to get paid a lot. And so I really needed to change my mindset of how I think about money. Let me just give you an example, right? Who are you more likely to give money to? A beggar on the street who's just standing there asking for money and just asking for a donation or a handout? Or are you more likely to give money to let's say those guys who help you carry your groceries into your car and help you park your car at a very busy mall for example between those two people who are you more likely to give money to now the difference between these two people is that one is just asking for money for no reason and the other one did something for you they helped you carry your groceries and they helped you park your car to avoid bumping into other cars while you're at the mall obviously the second guy because he actually provided a service for you and he solved a problem it's not a major problem that he solved you could have definitely carried those groceries yourself and I know I can definitely park my car myself I don't need help but I can see that they're trying right and so I'm more likely to give money to that person that's kind of how you need to think about money a lot of us myself included just want money for not really doing anything to be honest I I know I know what it, I know what it's like you're so overwhelmed life is so stressful and the more broke you are the more like demotivated you are the more you just have this low self-esteem and you're just not okay and usually being broke goes very hand in hand with being depressed as well and so you're not in the best mental space that you need in order to think creatively about making money but I really want you to take this video into consideration because if you listen to what I'm about to tell you in this video you will never be broke again you will understand exactly how money works and you will be able to get yourself out of the situation that you are in it is totally possible for your situation to change okay it all begins with your mindset and that is what I want to talk about right now there are only two ways that you can actually make money. The first is by getting a job, right? And that is because companies pay people a salary to solve problems that the company has. And for me, that is what I think is probably the easiest way for most people to make money is to get a job. But like I said, I was struggling to get a job and so I couldn't really have that method. But I learned so, so much. And if you want to know my best tips for job hunting, especially if you've been job hunting for a long time, then you should watch my playlist with the best videos on getting a job in South Africa because I really go very deep into what I learned. Now, I studied engineering at UCT. I'm a black female. It should have been so easy for me to get a job, but it wasn't. And in that process, I learned so, so much. But I think that for most people, People, the best way to make money is just to get a job and I know a lot of you are making a lot of mistakes in your job hunting and that is preventing you from getting a job so that is the very first thing you want to do right but let's say you've tried that okay you've tried job hunting you've watched all my videos and you're waiting or you know you can't ca be a cashier or a waitress or something along those lines that's not available to you then what do you do well you have two options you can either wait right for some miracle to happen which is what I did I waited and like nothing happened 
or you can think about what problems you can solve in society. People pay for problems to get solved and the more value you provide or the bigger problem that you solve, the more that you're going to get paid. So this is really going to depend on you, your situation, where you're living and your skills that you have as a person. But you need to actually get up off your feet. So I want you to go around in your neighborhood, walk around and see what shops are there, what problems can you solve, what there is something around you where you're staying, where there are problems and you could get paid for solving these problems. Now I don't mean anything hectic, okay? I mean very small things. Let's say there's a spot you know around the corner and around lunchtime they get very busy and they have a lot of customers and their service is usually slow, but only around lunchtime. So the owner of that shop is not willing to hire another employee full time because during the day they're fine, but during lunch, they're, they're only busy during lunch. Well, what you could do is go over to that shop and say, hey, listen, I noticed that during lunchtime, you guys are understaffed, but you're fine the rest of the day. So I'm not asking for a job. I'm just asking if I can come around during lunchtime for two hours to help you guys out. Now, the shop owner might be very hesitant, like, nah, I really don't want to hire anybody please leave me alone. And you can say, well, you know what? I will actually work for you for free for a week or two weeks. And I will come in every day during lunchtime to help you guys out. And if you like my service and how I behave, then we can talk about it. But for a week or two weeks, I will just do this for you for free. Now you're offering to you know, help this business owner out for free. So they might actually be like, you know what? Okay, come through. It's come through, you know, you got to be persistent, right? You're getting up, you're changing your life. So you do this and you can go to different places and offer to do this kind of thing. Now, obviously in your week or two weeks that you're doing this for free, you want to make sure that you help them with everything. You are just the best employee that they could ever have. And you show them that you can bring so much value to their business. And then the chances of you actually getting hired, even if it's just for the lunchtime period, are much, much higher than somebody who's just spending all day online, applying with their CV and getting no so that's what I want you to think about. I want you to walk around in your neighborhood and find these kinds of problems that you can solve for people, even if it's not full time, even if it's just odd jobs here and there that you do for people and they don't have to pay you full time, a full time salary. A lot of people don't want that, especially during a pandemic. People don't have money to pay people a full time salary. But if you can identify problems that you're able to solve a little bit here and a little bit there, then you can make money. Okay, so these are methods that rely on you going outside to where you stay and finding problems that you can solve. But if you want more concrete ideas of businesses that you can start that don't require you to have any money, I made a whole video with business ideas that you can start without any money and you can watch that video here, right? And that video is going to give you exactly how you can start this business without any capital. But what you'll see even in those businesses is that you're actually solving problems and providing value for people. When you solve the problem, okay, for people and you provide value, then people are going to reward you with money. So that's really the mindset that you got to get into because who knows when you'll get a job, if you'll ever get a job. So if you are flat broke, please find some problems that you can solve. Watch those videos that I recommended in this video and this should definitely help you out. Now, I've gotten a few DMs from people asking me, okay, can you please just show me how to make money? Can you just please just show me how to do this? And the truth is that I can't, like I have a lot of videos on my channel and there are a lot of ideas that I can give you, but it is going to be up to you to take action. Choose an idea, choose something, go out there and give it a shot and don't be afraid to work for free sometimes and in order to get some skills, get a reputation and then people will pay you. A lot of times, the youth, you know, we don't want to do anything for free. We want to get paid. And the truth is that then nothing is going to happen. Like you're just going to sit at home. And so I've definitely done things for free. I've managed social media accounts for businesses for free. And eventually that led to them paying me. But had I just asked them to pay me without ever showing them that I can actually do the work, I never would have gotten paid. And so I really have a lot of sympathy for you. If you are flat broke, I know exactly what that feels like. And my main concern is that it actually affects your mental health. It affects how your family treats you, how people treat you. Because you have no income so I really suggest that you get up off your feet and you decide to solve this problem you definitely can do it you just have to be proactive and creative in trying to find problems that you can solve don't be afraid of working for free for just a short while and once you prove to people that you are valuable that you have skills you can actually improve their lives you can improve their business whatever it is then people will definitely pay you if you want to go be a cleaner somewhere just go there and just start cleaning and you come every day and you're cleaning eventually you'll be like oh 
okay, fine, here's 50 rand, here's 100 rand, and something will happen. I really love seeing you guys that watch the majority of my videos. So if you got to this point of the video, please comment orange down below and I'll know that you're part of the watch the whole video squad and I'll just be so, so happy. So go ahead and do that. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because in the next few weeks, I will definitely be making many more videos about making money, passive income ideas, side hustles, all of those things to assist you guys who want to make more money and generate more income in your life so if those kinds of videos are right up your alley then please go ahead and subscribe my top recommendation for you to watch next is my video on businesses that you can start without any money it's a list of video ideas and they're really really good that can help you get going right now because you don't need any money to start the businesses in this list so you can go ahead and check out that video and i appreciate you so much for watching this video i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye